to Kamikaze Video Drone. That's Miracle Max. And that's Kamikaze Mike, and we're here to talk to you about the comics you could be reading. New, old, graphic novels. By Crom, let's get started. Uh, you know, you might get at this point that we're a little biased, but that doesn't change the fact that the best superhero comics being published right now are at Marvel Comics. Agreed? Preaching to the choir. I know. There's some really cool stuff. They've been shaking up their characters a lot, which is really cool considering how much they want to get these characters across in the public eye with movies and TV shows and whatnot. We've got a cool new Thor, new Lady Thor. She's awesome. First issue of that. We'll be getting reprints on that. Check it out. Yeah. Got a new Captain America, which in case you haven't figured out, it's the Falcon. Which really raises the character's profile to that of an A-lister. The movie jumped him up, and now him taking the mantle over, yes. It's super cool. He's not getting rid of his wings either, thank God. Ah, uh, Mike and I are both big fans of the Fantastic Four oh, run currently going so on. Good. You know, Fantastic Four is sort of the red-headed stepchild of, uh... Currently. Of Marvel. And that's, it's so weird that <laughs> that is the case, because Fantastic Four is what opened the door to the whole Marvel Universe. Is... And they have no respect currently which is really tough, but makes for really interesting stories. Um, Reed Richards is currently saving the world by destroying other universes in New Avengers, which is really messed up. Uh, Sue Richards... Pay attention to this book. You need to be. It's super cool. Johnny Storm lost his powers. He's no longer sort of the hotshot Ben Marvel Grimm universe. is in prison. Ben Grimm is in prison! As, oh, that's terrible! It's so sad seeing Ben Grimm in prison. What a revolt in development. Definitely. <laughs> and they're definitely harking back, harkening back to his uh, to his days in Marvel team-up. Yeah. Where he's hanging out with the Sandman again. Two and one. Two and one. My bad. No worries. Um, I'm Spidey. Spidey. Spider-Man Spider is doing some really fun stuff. Again, raising this profile of a superhero... To that, where you're already an A-lister, now you're like a cosmic god, Spider-Man. There's literally <laughs> one of you in every universe. They did that in the 90s. Whatever, this is cool too. Um, where they got all these different Spider-Men are teaming up. They're being hunted by a very stupid Spider-Man bad guy, Morlin. But they brought him back. Dan Slott is the master of taking stupid characters and making them cool again. A la um, Mark Grunewald. A la Mark Grunewald. Very Mark Grunewald, but he's doing it with Morlin this time, who was a vampire that wanted to eat Spider-Man or whatever. Sp yeah. <laughs> so now we have all these different incarnations of Spider-Man showing up. Old favorites that you've seen before. Uh, new, cool characters yeah. like Gwen Stacy, Spider-Woman. Um, what do we got? Aaron Aikman, the amazing Spider-Man, which is cool. He, and you're just getting some really awesome stuff off the wall. Uh, so if you want to get all your Marvel comics, make sure you get them. Make sure you get a subscription. Make sure you listen to Renee and Tresh while they tell you about Kamikaze subscriptions. Hi, I'm Tresha. And I'm Renee. And at Kamikaze, supporting your local comic shop means discounts for you. Did you know that by subscribing to just one title, you are granted a 10% discount on all new comics and graphic novels? We only ask that you stop by once a month to pick up your discounted titles. We also offer excellent mail order subscriptions that are delivered right to your front door with free shipping included. So support your local comic shop in a meaningful way. Become a Kamikaze subscriber today. I really enjoy the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And oh, who doesn't? Yeah, well, maybe DC lovers. Yeah, probably. Damn DC lovers. But they're trailblazing it on TV, too, uh, with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. which is super cool, and we got a lot of S.H.I.E.L.D. comics in the shop. Um, oh, that's so good, the my, Yeah, my favorite is the stuff from the 60s, uh, Jim Steranko's run on S.H.I.E.L.D., where he, where he took these old uh, Silver Age characters, took Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos, and he reimagined them as a psychedelic group of spies. And it's super cool. It's very uh, very Kirby, even though Kirby was still doing work at the time. Jim Stranko was obviously yeah. very influenced by uh, by the king. And, and all of the, uh, like the Bond and the Our Man Flint movies. Just that Avengers, whole... Avengers, I'm sure. Yeah, all of that spy stuff spy of the late Avengers. 60s was... Uh, was a big influence on yeah, it too. It's super cool. But Secret War was pretty cool. It came out a couple years ago. It's a beautifully painted series, uh, written by Brian Michael Bendis, and it sort of reintroduces Shield as sort of this um, 
Where S.H.I.E.L.D. was kind of psychedelic and mysterious in the 60s, this one is very shadowy, government-y. And they wind up using the superheroes to, to complete this sort of illegal mission. And uh, street-level heroes, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they just he just takes... They, they're they just like, we need... We're cashing in favor. Uh, I think they use Captain America, Black Widow, uh, Spider-Man, Luke Wolverine, Cage, Luke Daredevil. Cage, Daredevil. All uh, of the 70s heroes that Bendis loved. Yeah. And <laughs> this totally brought Luke Cage back as a... As Pretty a, much did, yeah. Yeah, as a big superhero again. And uses them for this very illegal mission. And it's sort of Nick Fury's last hurrah, the old Nick Fury. Uh, it's sort of his last hurrah, and it's really cool. And then they introduced a whole bunch of new movies. Crazy! Oh, yeah, just this past uh, past week. Yeah, we've got uh, Inhumans, which... Uh, the Inhumans are so awesome. Yeah, they are, um, they are really cool, and they're definitely a good... Uh, good uh, replacement for the X-Men because yeah, they can't use the X-Men. Movie right-wise, Marvel can't use the X-Men. But I honestly prefer the Inhumans. The, hum- the Inhumans have a lot of mystery to them, which is cool. They uh, they will tap into that mutant angst, persecution, prejudice thing. Um, and they've always kind of had it in the comics, too, yeah. with um, the, the fact that they're a hidden race created by aliens. <laughs> and like only the Fantastic Four knew of them for the longest time, yeah. and he just wouldn't tell anybody and I think they came into prominence in the Marvel Universe when um, Reed Richards helped the, the Inhumans move their hidden city to the moon. Oh, so and cool. And then, you know, <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D. tracked that, you know, and they're like, what the heck's going on? And, like, the Fantastic <laughs> Four were called before this huge, like, co- tribunal yeah. of, like, why did you put, like, a super-powered race in a strategic position over Earth? And then that pretty much the Inhumans became... Uh, kind of sort of big players yeah. in the Marvel Universe conceptually, but never really, like, no one ever really did a lot with them, even though they've been around since the Silver Age. Yeah, they're really fun, just because they're all just each such different characters. I mean, and, I mean, you got the best dog ever. You got the best dog ever, Lockjaw, a teleporting dog that used to be a man. Crazy. You got Medusa with her crazy hair. Um... Black Bolt, whose voice can shatter mountains, so he's you got this king who can't even utter a word to guide his people, so he yeah. has to trust his queen. It's going to be a good movie. It's going to be a cool, weird movie. Yeah, I hope. And Black Panther, I, I, cannot, yes. I cannot be more excited <laughs> for Black Panther. Black Panther is possibly the coolest superhero in the Marvel Universe. Indeed. And he just... It's just going to be awesome. People He's just, more Batman than Batman. People are just gonna I be, said it. Yeah, and I agree with it. Uh, people are going to be blown away with how badass Black Panther is. And hopefully it it just brings that character to a Batman level of prominence that he deserves. I mean, he's the first black superhero. That's really important. And he's cool as hell. <laughs> he's, a, he's a leader of nations. Um, yeah. Richer than anyone. T- more technologically advanced. Totally um, like... And with, with a... With a with an origin that you'd think would lead him to be just sort of like a rough and tumble like brawler, he is so superhero. He has resources that Batman wishes he had. That's all I'll say. Two Black frogs. Panther. He's got two frogs, and you stack them on top of each other, <laughs> no. and he can go anywhere <laughs> in the universe. If that's not in the movie, I'm going to be a sad, sad Max. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> King Solomon's Sol- King frogs. Solomon's frogs. <laughs> oh God, no. bring it to us! But we love uh, we love all these movies. And then there was I one more. It. There was one more that kind of didn't really uh, didn't really strike us as too too it's such a great choice. But Civil War. People like Civil War. People are gonna buy Civil War no matter what we say. But it's not the best superhero story to adapt. Uh, the characters are mean to each other. It sort of just takes this whole awesome interconnected history of the Marvel Universe and just makes it sort of a dirty word and everyone hates each other and... What's so civil about war anyway? I agree. <laughs> so Videodrome is filmed at Kamikaze in Somerville, Massachusetts and we got awesome stuff. We got new toys, old toys, new comics, old comics, subscriptions, an awesome eBay store. Check us out. We are the best comic book store on the East Coast. Bar none. <laughs>